Welcome to the Random Stuff Garage. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, uh, come on in, make yourself cozy, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump into the uh, the figure today. It's gonna be the uh, Star Wars Black Series, the Force Unleashed Star Killer. Uh, I did manage to pick up the um, was it PulseCon? Yeah, the uh, PulseCon Special Edition. Deluxe version uh, box set here. I haven't even really looked at this. Um, I got it, and that was it. <laughs> uh, I have a huge backlog of figures I'm trying to chug through, and um, it's it's been a challenge. Um, anyway, uh, before I go off on a tangent. Um, so if you're not familiar, this is from the Force Unleashed game. Um, the uh antagonist i guess protagonist you kind of well without spoiling too much um i don't know it's kind of a oh here we go we got everything everything that's inside the box on the side of the box so yeah this is the deluxe version what was i saying oh yeah so in the game um you you play as this character uh who goes by star killer at first um trying to find out more about his past Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, becomes kind of a more of a tool of um, Vader. So uh, he's. He, uh, I don't want to get too into it. Um, if you want to just, uh, you're already here on YouTube. Just search for the cutscenes and stuff. It's actually it's a really good story. Um, one of my favorite Star Wars franchise uh, games. Um, yeah, it was good. I I bought the the first one and and the sequel. Played through them and uh, enjoyed them immensely. If you have not, I highly recommend that you do. It's it's right up there with um. If you enjoyed Jedi uh, Survivor and its predecessor, what was it? Jedi um, Fallen Order. Uh, these are just as good. Um, the the Force Unleashed games are awesome. Anyway, enough about the games. We're here for the figures, right? So uh, let me let me get this uh, slipcase off. Um, and real quick, oh, that's the bottom there, not much there besides a barcode, uh, which is surprising. There's probably more on This is a slip case, so let's, let's slip it off the box then, shall we? Oh, look, it's more of the same, which I'm not surprised. Um, so the exclusives from Hasbro, uh, a lot of people are like, you know, why, why are we spending so much money on the boxes? Just give us more for the figures. And don't make us pay so much for the box. I'm like, you know, I'm kind of, I see both sides. Because it's like, I, while I appreciate a, a bit more of a premium presentation for an exclusive, I do see the argument of, hey, let's save some of what we would have spent on packaging and put more into the figure or reduce the price, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I can already feel like the back of this box is like open on the back. So let's. It's like an open, uh, whoa, okay, see, now that's what I'm talking about. That's that premium, I haven't watched any reviews, I, like I said, I haven't opened this, I took it out of the shipper, and I put it in the stack. Uh, wow, that's pretty neat, man. Um, all right, now we got the glossy box slipcover off. I'm going to try something new here. Wow, I got lights. Uh, let's see, should we make that brighter? Punch up the brightness a little bit. I don't want to wash it out. But yeah, I noticed like my lighting. And it couldn't have come at a better time because this box is pretty much a cave. <laughs> so I have a I have, I have a gorilla pod um, tripod thing with a light on it that I attached to my my, my uh, phone tripod. And it's I think the timing was just right. Because yeah, this thing you would have been trying to look inside of a cave with no nothing over nothing but overhead lighting. That would have sucked. So yeah, I think this is a good time to t try out the new lighting setup. Um, really cool. I like the presentation. Uh, yeah. So if you're not familiar with the game, uh, he unlocks many abilities that some would be consider unnatural. Um, Another big clue here is the different color lightsaber blades. He's got the blue blades. He's got the red blades. 
in the game, you get to, you, you, if you find them, you can unlock different color, all kinds of different color lightsaber blades and different effects for the blades, which is something I think we kind of missed from the Jedi Fallen Order um, and Survivor series. They, they didn't, you, you couldn't choose different effects for the blade. Anyway, um, gosh, I keep talking about video games. I mean, I guess it's, would, would you consider this a gaming greats? I don't think it is. Um, although it should be, because it is from a game. Um, I know they just recently released the, um, not deluxe version. Um, and this is straight off the box of the cover of the game. So, um, and of course you get the, the troopers, which pumped up the price even more. And people were like, we don't want troopers. We, <laughs> why are we making, why are they paying, making us pay an extra $50 for troopers? Whatever, it's fine. I, I can always use more troopers. It's great. I'm not going to complain about more troopers at all. Would I prefer to keep the price down on this a little bit? A little. It was, you know, what, 100 bucks? It was kind of a jagged pill, but, uh, you know, um, got to take your meds, right? <laughs> uh, let's crack it open. Just going to use the uh, opener of things made from things. And, uh, oh, you know what? Hmm, how should I do this? Gosh, I'm going to have to take this all apart, because look, look at what we have in here. See all these holes? Those are all held in with those stupid little uh, T-bands. I don't know what to call it. Is there an official name for that? Help me out in the comments. What are the name of those stupid little bands that... I hate those things. I prefer rubber bands over those stupid T-bands. What are those things called? You know, they hold the tags on your T-shirt. Oh, man. Uh, if you hear some noise in the background, it's my 3D printer. It's uh, working on some stuff. You'll probably see soon, hopefully. Gosh, should I just open the whole thing? Just pop. Yeah, let's do it. Do it live. Let's do that. Do that. I probably just ruined some sort of artwork. Let's see. I'm like, dude, you should have just peeled them off. They peel off real easy. Okay, troopers. So this, uh, nice little... That's a nice presentation, man. Uh, you know, for the naysayers of the, the premium boxes, um, that's pretty, that's pretty cool, man. I can appreciate that. Um, anyway, let's, let's keep going, shall we? Do I need to review the troopers? I don't think I do. <clears throat> we all know... What a stormtrooper do, right? It is the uh, the new the new mold, so that's nice. Pinless, um, better joints. Good troopers. That's nice. It's nice that they didn't throw the old stock <laughs> into new boxes. There you go. Let's liquidate these things. Just throw them in with a box set. Charge a hundred bucks. Um, how do I open this? These things defeat, they're so nice. That's my only gripe, I guess, is that they're so nice. I don't, oh yeah, I did gouge the, um, whoopsie. I don't, I don't really keep packaging. I, I mean, I do, but I don't, you know, I'm an opener, man. Once I, once, um, I figure out, oh, look at that. Hey, we're in there. Huh? Now, does this just come out? I hope so. Like I said, I haven't watched any other unboxings or reviews or any anyone else's stuff about this. I wanted to go in uh, kind of not knowing or... Well, I was stuck on his, like, lightning thing there. That's weird. Anyway, I wanted to go in just kind of with no prior knowledge. Oh, look, see, extra effects in there. Don't don't lose your extra effects. There's a there's a little hand effect in there. Does that does this slide out too? Let me try and see. Does this come out? It does. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of extras. Oh yeah, because there's like a bowl, like an explosion bowl. I don't know if you guys seen the promo images for this. Have you? I'm assuming you have if you've made it this far. Let's just get this out of the way. I don't know if you guys appreciate. Guys or gals, appreciate the crinkle noises. Some people are into that ASMR 
I definitely don't have a good enough microphone for that. It just sounds like noise. Anyway, there's extras in there. So you got a little force push. Push, push. Um, I'm going to use for that. Oh, I've got some nippers. I've got some great little nippers that came with my 3D printer that's making a bunch of noise right now. Here, how about listen? I don't know if you can hear that slight whirring noise in the back. Uh, it's off to my right. Back side of the garage. Come on. Come on, nippers, nip. Oh, you can't see what I'm nipping at. Okay, I'm nipping at these ridiculous little things. Why did you have to put effects in there with those? That's weird. That's some tape. Eh. Get out of there. Um, and then tape and uh, T bands. Gee. I mean, I appreciate them not um, allowing things to shift around in shipping. That's cool. All right, now we got some effects. Is it, uh, I don't, is it, is he force pushing off the ground, I guess, is the effect they're going for? I wanted to force push people, and it just looks like a, a weird anteater snoot. I don't know what's going on there. TBD. I'll see if I want to use that. I don't know. Get your egg rolls. Hot, fresh egg rolls from Hasbro. What do we got here? Oh, we got uh, trooper rifles. We know what those look like. The standard issue E11 Imperial Blasters. Those are pretty nice plastic. Better than... Um, classified lately these are actually pretty pretty rigid man i don't know if you can can you hear that here let me get it real close up into the mic as i drop it under the bench but these are i don't know if you can hear it. that's they're not rubber at all like they're really rigid i would compare that to like valiverse um Duro? Look at me using the the, the lingo. <laughs> oh, cool. The saber. Oh, man. I had a replica at one point. A uh, full-size prop replica of this saber that doesn't want to focus. Come on. I got the light and everything, man. There you go. They did an okay job. You can kind of see the crystal, the red crystal in there. Oh, man. See, that's what I was wondering. Are they going to include two sabers? One with a red crystal and one with a blue? Apparently not, because that's certainly red. I might detail that further. Um, do I have something I could point at that with? Here, these are the back of Serpentor's staff that I just happen to have here. <laughs> just happen to have Serpentor's uh, snake staff hanging out. So I can use that as a pointer. Um, so right there, you see that red crystal? Maybe you can see it? I don't know if I can get in close enough to, um, anyway, the red crystal there. Uh, this portion, this little area, this collar, where this is supposed to be a cover tech wheel, uh, but it's obviously just a, a, a peg that goes into his belt. Um, that's supposed to be gold. I may touch that up. Um, but otherwise, it's a fairly accurate representation of his saber. Because like I said, I had a um, actual prop replica of this saber that is way out of focus right now. There we go. Nope. Come on, you had it. Get it. Jeez. Really? Even with the light now, no? How about back here? Yeah. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I had an actual prop replica, full size, actual scale replica of this, um, life sized, 1 1. Um, I got rid of it. I was like, yeah, I don't want to collect video game sabers. And then Cal Kestis came along, and his saber's awesome too. I'm like, damn. <laughs> anyway, this is a fairly accurate 
detailed version of the the uh, saber from the game because it's got the exposed crystal chamber. It kind of has like a Graflex front to it with the grips. That's a little long. I think that's accurate though. Anyway, good job on the saber, guys. I don't know about this though. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's good. It's better in hand. Um, than the promo images, I guess. It's a little shiny. A little. That might be just my light washing it out. Let's get real close and personal with that one. Ignore my finger wound. Uh, I'm a mechanic, man. What do I say? Oh, actually, I did that gardening. <laughs> of all things. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, likeness of Sam Whitwer. It's there. I can see it. I mean, I can tell kind of who it is. Only, maybe only because I played the games and I know. That one is actually better. That actually looks pretty good. That's better than the yelling head. Honestly. Uh, if you're not familiar, Sam Whitworth. Uh, he is actually the actor they used for the game. Uh, Mocap, full facial mapping and everything. Um who is also the voice of Darth Maul in the Clone Wars and other stuff. Oh, a nice forced gesture hand there. Right? There we go. What do you guys think of the lighting? Better? Too much? Is it too off-center that it's affecting, it's throwing shadows, what you're trying to see stuff? Let me know. Lighting good? Lighting bad? Move it. Any suggestions? I am open. Okay, and that's another, I guess, maybe a saber-gripping hand. I don't know, that's kind of a force. Come here. Um, I don't know. And we have a splayed hand here. Just kind of a relaxed, chilling, maybe. Chilling like a villain. Oh, this is a saber hand. Now, is it? Yeah, okay, good. So I don't know if you can see is my camera is a butthead my phone rather the yeah so the joint is um roll the dice i guess um vertical joint so you get the good saber poses with that that's good um how many other hands are there just lightning hands spirit fingers okay if you know you know spirit fingers god what was the name of that movie Another Saturday Night Live. Uh, really. So that's the only hands we get, huh? So we get uh, Snoot, mm. Force Gesture, Relaxed. Oh, they're opposite hands, too. Oh, I'm bumping the camera. Uh, and a Saber Hand. No, that's the, I don't know, Force Come Here. Uh, left Hand, Left Hand. Right hand, right hand. Huh. Oh, and the hands that he comes with. <laughs> of course. All right, let's get the... Oh, my God. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to edit this out. That's a lot, man. So, come on, Hasbro. Really? Do we need all that? Why? God, can I clip it out from the front? At least you guys can see the figure. Yeah, let me go to work. God, man, I feel like... It's going to be some sort of surgery getting all this out. All right, let me start here. Oh, jeez. Should I leave this in? I mean, should I not edit out the horrible clipping? And you would think, you know, Hasbro being Hasbro, that these would have been like emperor hands, <laughs> just like with paint on them. They're not. Uh, there, there is sculpting. On the force hands, the lightning hands, if it'll focus, you could see it. There. Uh, there is sculpting. The uh, hand wraps are there. Kind of a funky shape, though. Uh, his fingers are, like, pushed back. I might heat that up and change it or something. I don't know. Yeah, because it's... 
it should, yeah, I don't know. That's always been such a tricky thing to capture in figure form, the force lightning. Cause it's, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we got that's that's another set of hands. Um, well, let's go in. Okay. Yeah, this might not take as long as I thought. Feet. Hands. That should be it. Yeah. All right. Not so bad. No, the back looked like a nightmare. Honestly, the the side not so bad. Um. And do I prefer the red or the blue? Well, uh, I kind of like, it's kind of a story of uh, redemption and, you know, becoming uh, what you're really destined for and not what somebody else is deciding for you kind of thing. It's a good, It really, it's, it's, it's a well-written game. I, I like that. See, now, I don't think we got the motion saber blades with the um, standard release and we only got red so I'm stoked that well okay stoked might might not be the right word I'm looking for I'm I don't have buyer's remorse I'll put it that way because if I had passed on this and waited for the standard version I wouldn't have got the blue blades and that would have made me upset because I do actually prefer the blue blades because it really it's it's the full circle of his character arc of him coming around spoilers he ends up going to the light side well i mean it's one of those choose your own adventure kind of games really like in the end you get to kind of choose you know does does he do something that will turn him fully to the dark side and there he is finally got him out of the damn box oh he's got some abrasions there <laughs> he's a little beat up huh i know i didn't know about that i was like oh man is that blood or yeah, I guess so. And he is, yeah, he goes through some rough stuff in the game, man. Um, I hope we get, like, multiple iterations. Um, some good sculpting detail, man. Uh, I do, actually, I think I prefer that head sculpt. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good, Sam Witwer. I mean, granted, this game was, what, 10 years ago, maybe? Yeah, we've waited that long. We've waited that it, probably more than 10 years. When did the first one come out? Somebody help me out in the comments, as usual. I don't do homework before I, I fire up the, the camera and the phone, rather. And, uh, oh, we don't have double jointed. It's those weird. I mean, it goes up pretty far. Far enough, I guess. It's past 90. It does, it does break 90. So that's cool. I wish we'd had double jointed. Darn it. They do these kind of like hidden double joints, I guess, now. Yeah, that goes well past 90. I'll take it, you know. And right, there's kind of a force, force gesture hand on that one. Um, oh, another, another relaxed. So we get, we got hands. We got plenty of hands with this. The standard release, not so much. And that's, that's why, man, I was like, you know what? I'm going to cry once. I'm going to pull the trigger on this one. And, uh, you know, everybody that didn't, unfortunately, for whatever reason, did not get... Man, is that all the places he can put his saber? Look at all those ports. Not his thermal exhaust port. I'm talking about, like, on his belt. You weirdos. <laughs> I like the leg wraps, man. Um, that's what I do when I, whenever I uh, dress up for Halloween or whatever as a Jedi... I do the leg wraps because I can't afford, like, the World War II jack boots or whatever. The original trilogy uh, high boots. So I do with the leg wraps. And it, it looks pretty good. This It's really nice on this. It's good texture. Accurate to the game, of course. A little bit of paint apps on his, what is battle kilt, whatever you call that. Yeah, man, that's like, he can put his saber... On any one of those ports, as I bump the head. Sorry. Well, I hit the light. I'm not used to that yet. Here, let me go under. There we go. So, this will fit in any number of those. Oh, you know why? Maybe. <laughs> 
maybe it's because oh, all right so they might do later on they'll they'll have they might have a version oh he's got butterflies huh he he like i like he might be released in a later version with and he's got a single diaphragm oh man no ab crunch oh it goes pretty deep that's what she said uh not too bad it's you know yeah, he's not Spider-Man. Um, is it a single? Yeah, it's a one-piece neck molded. Oh, okay, there. Uh, I'll do that. A little bit. It's not, yeah, it's Black Series is really, they're toning down the articulation, man, and they, for, for sake of sculpt. And I'm not on board with it. I'm kind of, like, not okay with it, you know. Uh, they they do a pretty good job of hiding the knees now, which is kind of cool. But it, then it's got this weird because they got it. They went away from. Oh wait, okay. There is there goes the saber. All right, wait, hold on. Okay, so he's got kind of a the GI Joe joint ball joint there now, sort of. It's not drop down, or is it? It is not. It looks like it would pop out real easy. You know, it goes way out, though. If you want this guy to Van Damme, dude, this is your guy. Is this new? Does all Black Series go that damn far now? That's weird. You know, they're reducing articulation, and then they do full Jean-Claude. Goodness. All right. Um, anyway, what was I saying about the Sabre before I got carried away about weird Black Series articulation? I... Th they may if they release a later version of this um if you choose the dark side path he goes you know full what do they call him the um the sith uh oh geez i can't remember but he's got a crazy helmet that's pretty cool looking kind of a um, oh shoot what's his name the other video game villain uh from kotor <laughs> Uh, anyway, he's got kind of a crazy looking helmet. Uh, the Sith Stalker, I think, is what they call him if you go full dark side. And there's like some expansions. And he like collects lightsabers, kind of like Grievous. So, if they do that, he could probably put those... He, he may come with more sabers later to put on these ports of the Jedi he has slain on his path to, uh, you know, Sith... Uh, destiny or whatever it's pretty good man i'm i'm pretty happy with it am i a hundred dollars happy i don't know but man we've been waiting a long time for this guy huh i have anyway as soon as it came out of black series like oh man when are we gonna get because i had the legacy figure and that was a good one that was from the sequel though yeah that was i had the the um force unleashed 2 uh, star killer in the legacy line and that was a really good figure um tons of accessories uh really good looking sculpt um the costume they chose for it was really great i think it was from the trailer anyway uh we got some goodies man so let's see what this thing does um got this platform here it plugs in somehow oh jeez. oh jeez. That wasn't so bad. Did I have the right one? Yeah, they're all... So they're tabbed. Ooh. Voice cracked. I haven't done that since, like, high school. Um, ah, a little swig of energy drink. That fixes everything. So they're tabbed. You can see that little tab there. Um, get the rest of these guys in, then we'll get the other. Uh. So these, these, like, it looks like ice to me. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> like, uh, what was the vehicle that, uh, Kal-El came to Earth in? Uh, when Superman 
crash down in uh, the original um, Christopher Reeves Superman movie. Yeah, so they're all ta so they're keyed, so you, you get the pieces all in the right place. That's not this one. It is not this one either. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, that's this one. Is it easier if I go this way? Maybe. Mm -mm -mm. This reminds me of like with the uh, SHF um, Dragon Ball effects, or who is it? Is it SHF? Bandai, right? Makes those like crazy effect pieces for their yeah for their Dragon Ball stuff, right? Yeah. All right, yeah, the tabs in real nice. But anyway, it looks like the <laughs> the ship that Clark rockets to Earth. Escaping the exploding uh, Krypton. I always thought that that ship looked like a giant ice ball. No? I'm not the biggest DC guy. I'm not huge in a DC. Respect where it's due, though, man. Those original Superman movies. Chef's Kiss. It's, it just doesn't get any better. Although... I need to give the newer stuff a shot, at least. Okay, I think that's all in. Alright. Cool. We got this explodey effect. Ba Boom. Alright. Uh, let's have some fun a little bit. Pose them around a little. Uh, see what it pops off decently. Okay, so we got the uh, double dumbbell in there. Let's put on the... Uh, yelling head. It didn't, it didn't give a satisfying pop, but it's on. Okay. What should we go with? Yeah, uh, see, it's... I don't know, man. What do we do here? Do we do this? How do these pop out? Oh, that's pretty good. Decent sight. Well, you already saw. Oh, that one just kind of... Alright. Let's put the ant eater snoot... Uh, we'll do something. Like that. I see he can't really look up. That's as far as he can look up, man. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like he's just putting out fire or something. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. Iceman, is that you? What? I don't like that. You can't, like... Can you pick any balance? No. Hell no. And it looks weird if you turn it... Maybe... I don't know. Yeah, man, that's just an odd piece. Like, unless you hold it... Well, you can't even see. Unless you hold it... And it's... What the hell is this for? I mean, there's, like, examples in the promo shots and stuff, but I just, I don't like that hand at all. That's, that's an accessory I could have done without. Yeah. Uh, oh, Force Lightning. This one, okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Force Lightning. At least he can hold it up, you know. Pretty good, actually. Uh, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I dig it. Actually looks, uh, decent. Not bad. Huh. Pretty cool. I don't know if I would do both. Yeah, why not? Why not both? Right? Why not both? Yeah, they do pop out pretty easy. His hands. No drama there. Uh, maybe. Well, he's got foot pegs. I'll be damned. Black Series found a reason to use foot pegs because they definitely don't include any figure stands. The Black Series. Hey, how's that? 
Not bad for a Saturday night, huh? Just a hundred bucks. Yeah, we sweat a hundred bucks nowadays, right? And we sneeze and it's like a hundred bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. Again. I don't know if... And he definitely couldn't, like... It wouldn't support, like, if you stuck the trooper in the lightning and lifted him. Like you kind of do in the game. Uh, that would definitely not work. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, the golden question. Is it worth a hundred bucks? Uh, I can't, uh... I'll say yes for myself, but obviously your mileage may vary. You know, it's not for everyone. And we'll go with a uh, saber hand. Kind of a saber. That's what I was curious about, because that's a really... I wouldn't say fragile. Yeah. Is it bendy? It's actually pleasantly rigid. That's what she said. And I don't know. These things always scare me, man. The the tiny little thing, the little... Oh, jeez. That, that is that. See, now that's fragile in my opinion. I don't like that. Man. They should just include sabers that have blades all one piece. And then like an unlit blade oh man see and it's got oh, okay so it's notched so be careful with that so line up Ooh -hoo. so you've got the curvature of the emitter and then there's a divot in the blade if can you see it right there there's a little divot in the blade maybe if i rotate it you can see yeah see the little divot there Line that up, or you're going to have a bad day. Right? And I should just... Oh, God, it makes me nervous. <laughs> it makes me nervous. Because you... Oh, man, you break off a peg inside a saber, man. That's it. Hang it up. Oh, jeez, it's cold in the garage tonight, too. Elaine. Do you know about shrinkage? Oh. I'm like, I'm scared to put that on, man. Cause and it's already I feel like it's already bending. Oh yeah. The blade I just I just I just warped the blade just now. Just from gently trying to uh, ease that into the hilt. I slightly warped the blade. Oh man. I still don't have buyer's remorse, but Am I going to break this on camera? God, you guys only wish, right? That's That doesn't want to go in, man. Well, what about this one? Any easier? Probably not. I may have to, like, sand the peg on the blade down in order to get it in there. Because it's just not going to. It ain't it ain't doing it. Maybe 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 even bore out the saber? No, I don't want to do that. Never take away material from the saber. That's bad juju. Oh man. Well, I wanted to get some saber poses for you guys. Oh, his saber's like super loose in his hand too, look. I just you know. Oh, right. He reverse grips his saber in the game. I forgot, almost forgot. It's been a while, man. Yeah, he has a reverse grip. Like, um, kind of Ahsoka's, um, it's still loose. Jeez, Louise. All right. Um, but yeah, just like Ahsoka's, uh, Shoto, her uh, offhand saber, um, his reverse grip. So does he.
I wish I could. I wish I could get a blade in there. And you, you know, it doesn't. Okay, it would look better like that, I think. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Now if I could get a damn blade in here. Sheesh. I'm seriously about to like sand down the peg. Just to get it in there. Because it it don't want to go. Take it out of his hand. It just does not want to go. God, I'm going to break this on camera. Ah! To boil and pop your lightsabers now? There, I got it. Okay. God, nerve wracking, but I got it. Alright. So we'll go with his reverse grip. Flimsy reverse grip. God, man. With his warped blade. You, you probably can't even really. Yeah, yeah, you can see it there a little bit. That's a little warped. Anyway. Uh, yeah, just... what? Come on, man. You give him one saber hand and he doesn't even hold his saber. Tight. Like... It's frustrating, man. There we go. There's a saber pose for you. All right. And get off and uh This is how you see him most of the game, just like that. <laughs> or almost kinda angled upward. Yeah. That's how he spends most of his time in the game, with his saber sticking out behind him in that reverse grip. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> the the flimsy lightsaber hand is, uh, I'm not a fan of that. It's kind of disappointing, actually. It's not a bad figure overall, but it just should have been more, I guess. It should have been, um, oh, that just fell. It scared the Jesus out of me. It should have been more. Somehow, if that makes any sense. And it came with stormtroopers, yeah, but. Ah, there it is. Um, Starkiller. <laughs> and two troopers. And a bunch of hands, including a very loose lightsaber holding hand. Uh... You know, I really wish I had to track down that um, that Vader from uh, the end of the Kenobi show with the battle damage. That Target exclusive Vader, because man, he actually does fight Vader in the game, and and the battle then the damage is very similar. The only difference I think is he has more of his cybernetic um, arms and legs showing by the end of the fight in the game, but uh. Yeah, that would have been cool, man. I, I might have to track that down. Um, hmm. I mean, it's not bad. But, uh, really all I've got to show <laughs> for a hundred bucks is, is blue, blue lightsaber blades, some, um, yeah, some force lightning hands, uh, I'm not a fan of that loose saber hand. That's probably my biggest disappointment right there, is that he cannot it, it just... I mean, look at that. Come on, man. That's not cool. It's just like... Can't even hold... They say, oh, you got it twisted in there just right. Like, I shouldn't have to do that. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. This thing, I don't know. <laughs> that's just weird. Uh, the blast effect is cool. Um, I don't know how I would use it. Maybe I'll, I don't know. Just put it, 
put them on there for the display on the shelf but uh i'm pretty sure i can get some cool pictures with some troopers and you know force throwing them and oh yeah in the game they had dismemberment too like you cut a trooper and like limbs would go flying off that was cool that's that's why everyone was so upset with um jedi fallen order because there was no dismemberment and of course that was when disney had purchased it so you know uh i am really happy with these so those came out nice nice and crisp really nice um really nice molds and not rubbery wow so classified has no excuse now man the joe team better get on it because black series is doing weapons that are not gummy so but it's it comes and goes it's really weird across all lines like some of them are gummy some of them are not yeah it's weird anyway yeah there's there's star killer let me go ahead and see if i can get some photos uh it's it's due to rain here in san diego tomorrow it might even be starting soon um because it is tomorrow <laughs> as i'm recording this it is past midnight um so I don't know if I'll be able to get outside tomorrow to do photos. I'll, I'll, I'll do it when I do it, and uh, you'll see it here, right now, after this. So thanks for hanging out, and uh, if, if you can track one of these down near retail and you really, really got to have one, go for it. Or if you were lucky enough to grab one, that's cool. For those of you that who missed it, uh, mm, there is the standard version, but yeah, you don't. You don't get the blue blades, you don't get all the goodies, you don't get the force uh, lightning, uh, you don't get all the cool alternate heads, but you save a whole ton of money, you didn't even have to stay at a Hotel 6, so there's that. Um, Alright, cool. Let's do some photos with this, and I'll, I'll try and uh, get what I can, throw them up there for uh, your viewing pleasure. Thanks again for stopping by and checking it out, the, uh, the video, and... Uh, Come on back later for more. I'm going to have a bunch of... Um, I've always got a bunch of G.I. Joe to do. Um, don't know what I'll do next. We'll s oh, Christmas haul. Good Lord. Um, yeah, I hope you all had a great Christmas. And I'm um, looking forward to uh, 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 2024. And hope to see you all there. Uh, thanks for coming by. Subscribe if you, if you haven't. Um, and I'll check you all later.